it's Tuesday. That means it's time for another tutorial Tuesday. This week we're gonna be learning how to make this adorable Moo Cow bracelet. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. I'm Holly Nicole George, also known as the Twister Sister. I turned my passion and my hobby of balloon twisting into a successful business and so I like to teach a balloon tutorial every single week to help others have a successful business like I did. So this week um, you've probably seen ladybug bracelets and even turtle bracelets but have you ever seen a cow bracelet? I think this might be a new thing. <laughs> I actually wanted to do a turtle tutorial but I didn't have the right balloons yet and I was looking I saw this cow print and I was like could I do a cow to a cow bracelet? So this is what I came up with and uh, I didn't want to wait. I wanted to go ahead and show this to you guys right away. So that's what we're doing this week. If you love this design and you want to start making it for your customers right away as well, I do have clip art available that you can purchase and go put on your menus. So when you're working events this next weekend, you'll be able to practice making some of these cow bracelets. You only need four balloons to do this design. We're gonna start off with a black 260. We'll also be using a white 160, a pink six inch heart, and then a five inch round with a cow print. If you don't have a cow print balloon, don't worry. You can always draw the spots on, just a regular white five inch round, but it's definitely gonna be faster if you have the print. So I've got my black 260 inflated and ready to go. I've just inflated it about halfway. We don't need it um, fully inflated. And I'm also gonna attach my heart to the front of it. So I've got a pink six inch heart here and I'm gonna put it on my pump and I'm gonna put the um, tip of my pump all the way down into the um, lobes of the heart and then I'm gonna kind of hold my hand around the balloon so that it gets inflated from the end of the balloon. Okay, so we've just got the big bulb <laughs> lobe part of the heart inflated and I'm gonna let a bunch of air out and squish it down and pull that nozzle out. So we just have sort of an oblong shaped balloon. It's not really a heart, but it's not just a round balloon either. So then I'm gonna tie that nice and tight. So we're gonna have a nice long tail, and this is gonna be the snout or muzzle, whatever you call it, of our cow. We're gonna take the tail of this and the tail of our black 260, and we're gonna tie them together. Do a nice double knot so they don't come undone. Okay, so now we're going to do a pinch twist, which is just a small round bubble in our black 260. We're gonna pull that bubble out and twist it around itself to make a little pinch twist. And then we're gonna do four, um, about one and a half to two inch bubbles, all right after each other. These are gonna be like his legs, sort of like his feet. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four. We're gonna bring them together to make a ring and twist them all together. Okay, so we're gonna have this. Once we add his body and the eyes, that'll shoot the nose forward. So don't worry about if it's sticking up like this. Next, we're gonna grab our cow print, five inch round. Most balloon distributors should carry something like this. Um, I think I got these from Continental Sales, but um, there are other places that carry something like this. Okay, so um, these are pretty old, so mine actually blew up a little bit misshapen, but that's okay, we're gonna work with it. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch off a little bubble at the back of our balloon here, not up by the nozzle, but back here on the other end of it. So I have very, very underinflated this, okay? It's just about the size of my hand. I'm gonna squeeze my balloon so that I can just grab my fingers around the back of it and twist off a little bubble, okay? We're gonna take that bubble and we're gonna come after our first two bubbles on the black, right opposite the nose, straight back. We're gonna just attach that bubble and bring it underneath those black balloons like that. And then I'm gonna flip it to lock it in place. And then to attach this, we're just gonna bring the nozzle of our cow print back up towards the nose wrap it around the pinch twist in the nose and now you'll have something like this 
getting closer to looking like a cow. So next step is to add the eyes. For the eyes, I'm using a underinflated five inch round. It's smaller than my palm, unless you want them to have really big bug eyes, but I don't. <laughs> so just kind of like medium balloon sized eyes. And then we're gonna twist this in half by just uh, getting that nozzle between our hands, twisting them in opposite directions. So the nozzle is in between our two little eyeballs. Okay, we're gonna take this underneath the nose, either bubble on either side of the nose, and then just work them up around the nose till they come out on top. And then I like to flip places with them. That way, they're locked in there. So to add the horns, I'm gonna grab a white 160, and I plated this a pretty good amount. It's got about a one and a half inch tail. And I'm just gonna take the nozzle of it and we're gonna twist it down in front of the eyes, so around the head and the nose. Just wrap that tail around there. And we're gonna come up over the eyeballs, but we wanna leave some space to thread the um, horns through the middle of that. So kind of get a look at it and, you know, see how big you want that loop to be and then twist it off. And then we're gonna wrap that around, down around the head. And then I like to break this off and just use it, go right into the horns. So make sure this is really wrapped around that pinch twist and the nose and whatever you've got a few times. That way we can break it off and just let this go so that we can use both of our hands to tie this balloon off so that we can go right into our horns. Now, if you don't know how to break your balloons off, it's really easy. I promise you, I've taught a ton of people how to do this. I've got a video that I'll link to that um, kind of shows you in slow motion the method that I use to break my balloons. So I definitely encourage you to try it out, give it some practice. Don't expect perfection the first time you do it, but if you practice it over time, you'll be ripping and breaking your balloons so easily you won't even think about it. So I'm gonna fold over just the little tail end of our white 160 here for the horn. I'm gonna take the other end and we're gonna thread it through that loop we made on top of his head. Just make sure it's pointing up like that. And then on the other side, we're just gonna match the bend in the balloon for the other horn, and then twist it off where we want to end it. And then we're just going to break it off and tie it, or use your scissors. Okay, so just even that out, make sure it is centered up. Okay, now that looks like a really super cute cow. I'm just gonna clean up the uh, tips here on the horn, just cut off these little tails, make it look nice. And then I'm gonna grab a black marker and we're just gonna do some really basic marker work. So I just did some really basic artwork, just sort of my standard balloon animal eyes and a really simple mouth and nose. And so this is basically it. Now, we're gonna turn this into a bracelet. If you've ever done a ladybug or turtle bracelet, you know where I'm going with this. But if not, you're just gonna basically cut off the end of your black balloon. We're gonna let all the air out of there, okay? Now I do like to puff inflate this, so you're just gonna put enough air back into it to expand the balloon a little bit, just to fill that up with some air so it's not um, quite as weird feeling. And then I'm gonna tie this off so that the air stays in there. And then we're gonna bring it back towards the back of our cow, just gonna loop it back over and down. I'm gonna wrap it around that little bubble that's in the back. You could leave this sticking out for a tail if you wanted to, cut it off or hide it. All right, and now you have a little bracelet that you can just slip on your customers or your friends or your family member's arm. And now you've got a super cute cow bracelet and these are just so adorable, especially if you do restaurant work and people can be, well, I guess that's kind of weird if they're eating like steak with their cow bracelet on, but hey, some people are cool about that. So that is it for this week's Tutorial Tuesday. I hope you guys like these little cow bracelets. 
please let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this and want to see more balloon related tutorials and videos, make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. I put out new videos every Tuesday and we're going to be doing a lot more stuff in 2019. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait. I just cannot wait. Also, I'd love to connect with you over on my Facebook page. Link is in the description. And if you have any questions about the shirts that I'm wearing or any of the products that I sell, um, all that information is also in the description of this video as well. If you're a channel member this week, you are getting the clip art to go with this cute little guy for free. So make sure to head on over to the members area in YouTube and you can download the clip art for this so you can start making these this weekend. If you have pictures, I would love to see pictures. Post those on my Facebook page. That will make my day. If you're not sure what channel membership is or how to join, information is in the description. It's only $4.99 a month and I do freebies each and every month for my members. Sometimes it's a download, sometimes it's an exclusive tutorial or behind the scenes look at what goes on here in the Twista Sister house. So this tutorial Tuesday is a wrap. I'll see you guys over on Facebook for the rest of this week. Until next Tuesday, we'll be right back here again, same time, same place for another balloon tutorial. See you guys then. Bye.